Which weighs more? A helium-filled party balloon or a grain of sand? Well, it's not too complicated. On Earth, a typical grain of sand has a mass of about 10 milligrams, so it's pulled by gravity with about 0.1 millinewtons. A helium party balloon has a mass of about 3 grams, and thus is pulled with 30 millinewtons. So the balloon weighs more. Simple. Weight is defined as the force on an object due to gravity. A helium balloon has a force on it due to gravity, and that force is pointed downward. The reason the balloon goes upward is because the buoyant force on it is greater than its weight. Buoyancy is a force that is applied to any object within a fluid equal to the gravitational force on an amount of fluid equivalent in volume to the object, but in the opposite direction. If the balloon displaces 4 liters of air, the buoyant force pushing the balloon up is the same as the gravitational force applied to 4 liters of air, which is about 50 millinewtons at sea level. Now there's one seemingly insignificant change we can make to our original question that changes our answer entirely. What if instead of weight, we asked about heaviness? Which is heavier? A helium-filled party balloon or a grain of sand? If it's going to take up space in the dictionary, heaviness might as well be used to mean something just a little bit different from weight. Now, of course, a word being useful with some definition doesn't make it have that definition. But English has a habit of making synonyms not quite perfect with nuanced differences. And that's the case with heaviness and weight. Heaviness and weight are often defined not only in the same way, but by each other. In many cases, they are perfect synonyms. But weight is the word which sometimes is a strict physics word, while heaviness is never that. Heaviness is about feeling. It's about appearance. Heaviness generally refers to apparent weight, what a scale would read from the object in question. A helium balloon that floats up has a negative apparent weight because of buoyancy. A grain of sand is light and has much less mass, but nevertheless positive apparent weight. This means that a grain of sand is indeed heavier than a helium balloon, even though it doesn't weigh more. It's important to realize that buoyancy applies to anything in a fluid, not just the things that float. In the case of an object that floats upward, what we're seeing is the buoyant force exceeding the gravitational force on the object, but every object has a buoyant force. The average person displaces about 85 grams of air, and that creates a buoyant force of about a quarter of a pound, or the weight of an apple. Everything in Earth's atmosphere has a buoyant force, even if it doesn't float. A kilogram of steel and a kilogram of feathers have the same mass. We defined them as such. But even without air pockets in the feathers, the kilogram of steel, if a solid chunk, is much more dense. If it has the same mass, but it's more dense, that means it must have less volume, and thus less buoyancy. The weights of the two kilograms are the same if they're at the same place on Earth, but their heaviness is not. A kilogram of steel is heavier than a kilogram of feathers. Hey, what's going on guys? It's been a while, hasn't it? I was in Brazil for three and a half weeks, right? And there was an upload during that time, but it was a scheduled upload, so it feels like it's been a long time for me. I'm glad to be back with a nice edited video, although it's not, you know, super musical, strictly speaking, uh, but I don't have a channel dedicated to physics and linguistics, so I just put it here, because why not? Uh, but I did make the background music, and it was, you know, all custom made for this, so that's a thing. But, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and we're getting back in the swing of things now, obviously being gone for that long without any recording equipment or anything, um, puts kind of a stopper on the YouTube channel, but we're back, we're back now, and, um, I've got a lot of stuff planned for this summer, and big announcements and, and, uh, major content is coming, so stay tuned, and thanks for watching, see you next time, bye.